Snappers, this is Tournament of the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Crystal Wedlock, uh, Heptathalock Season 2. Uh, today we are picking up on Route 34, maybe? I don't know. We just got we got out of the Ilex Force at the end of the last episode. Oop, and we've got, uh, well, there we go. Uh, you guys can see a little bit of our new two mates uh, who are here for the purposes of doing some cutting for us and might be, might be making their way onto the rotating team. They certainly give us some decent coverage and things like that. Um, so we've got Josephine here, she's level 13, and she's gonna hopefully finish off Radita for us there, fantastic. Does this guy have another Pokemon? Josephine goes to level 14, Josephine learned Poison Powder, there we go, that'll do. Youngster Samuel's about to use Spiro. we'll torch into Pokemon, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Josephine probably not real great, uh, well suited for that. Uh, I didn't do any grinding with anybody else, but I did do a fair bit of grinding with Napoleon and Josephine. Since they were like level 3 or 4 uh, when, we, uh, when we saw them last episode, they were basically just here for cutting. And I figured we might as well take the opportunity, since they're a new coupling, to kind of get them up to snuff in case we uh, could use their services. There we go, Napoleon taking down the Spiro with some new slams there. Seems so about to use Spiro. I'll leave Napoleon in on that, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, all right, let's see, yeah. So, but thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving this series. I, really, I appreciate it. These these kinds of Nuzlocks are always kind of fun for me, and I, I, I love it when you guys are also enjoying it. It sounds like um, that the, the pace, it, it, like the, the frequency of updates isn't too much for you guys either, which is good. I was a little worried. Normally, I only update once a week with series, but with this one, I've been doing twice a week sort of thing, and so I wanted to, uh, about to use Sandshrew. Well, Napoleon can use experience more than uh, Josephine at this point, so we'll leave Napoleon out. Um... But it sounds like you guys are keeping up okay. I'm trying not to make these episodes too super long, uh, so hopefully that's helping. But uh, yeah, glad to hear that uh, update frequency is working out for you guys and that you guys are enjoying uh, enjoying this series. Uh, ouch. Critical hit. There we go. Down goes the Sandshrew. Napoleon gains some experience points there. All right. So clearly we're starting out on uh, whatever route this is. Route 34. Okay, I was right. Fantastic. Look at me. Better tips. Berry trees grow new berries every day. Yeah, all right, perfect. Okay, so, but we are on Route 34. Before we encounter this guy, let's go ahead and do our catch. Uh, Pidgey, all right. We have not encountered a Pidgey yet. Ooh, um, ooh, and it's level 12. Let's get Napoleon in here real quick. I uh, have not encountered a Pidgey before. Ooh, 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 Pidgey. Pidgey, no, no bueno. Uh, I've got potions, right? Yes. Let's, uh, let's heal Napoleon up a little bit. No crits, please, Pidgey. No crits. All right. Um, probably isn't the best team to be doing an encounter with. I didn't really think that one through. Uh, Napoleon's gonna use Water Gun here. All right. We can hit it with at least one or two more of these. We can afford one more. Napoleon's just fighting through that uh, sand uh, sand attack. All right. Now, I'm go ahead and use a Pokeball here. It's a female Pidgey. All right, Pidgey was caught. Pidgey was added to the Pokedex. It rapidly flaps its wings in the grass, stirring up a dust cloud that drives insect prey out into the open. Give a nickname to Pidgey, yes. Uh, and it was a female. Looking at the list of things that you guys provided, hmm, you know what? This is a this is a pretty name, and I don't know if I should waste it on a Pokemon that we will hopefully never have to use, but. Um, let's go ahead and name this little lady Arwen, which was the, uh, elven lady love of Aragorn in the Lord of the Rings, uh, trilogy. All right, so we have Arwen, and Arwen was sent to build BC. All right, so there is our encounter for this route. How are we looking? Everybody's looking reasonably okay. Let's go ahead and throw another potion on Napoleon while we have the opportunity. And uh, let's go ahead and see what some of these other trainers have in store for us here. Just got back from a daycare. Let's see how much stronger I got. I think this is going to be a Machop? Can't remember. Snubble. Snubble! Alright. Snubble is not a fairy type, but we'll go ahead and throw up poison powder either way. Snubble used charm, which is going to lower attack. So we'll just go for absorb then, as opposed to cut. See what that does for us. Not a lot, not a lot. And I didn't think to look at the Snubbles levels. 
I'm a little worried about when this thing actually pulls a move out on us, but it doesn't seem to have one necessarily. So I guess we'll just kind of... Oh! Oh, we ate a berry. Covered using his berry. All right. Come on, Josephine. You got this, girl. I'm going to use Bite. Oh, we got this. We got this. All right. So we'll get the Absorb going here. Soaked health from enemy Snubble. Snubble, you scary face. And there he goes. Down goes Snubble. All right. So we defeated Brandon. Works out nicely. In fact, you know what? We actually probably... As much fun... Ooh. Oh, well, we already had our encounter on this route. That would have uh, been fun, too. Um, he's just going to run, so we should run. We can't flee from the Rabra who's going to immediately teleport away from us. All right, as much fun as it is seeing Josephine and Napoleon, though, um, I'm not sure if they're going to be permanent team members or not. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you'd rather see Josephine and Napoleon or uh, Guinevere and Lancelot. But for the purposes of today, let's see. Uh, let's, let's get Romeo up front. Because I don't know if I can't remember if we are getting to it today or not, but we potentially have another gym coming up, um, and it might be nice if we could get uh, if we could get Juliet or not Juliet. Well, I don't know when Juliet evolves, but uh, Romeo should be close to evolving at least, and uh, I don't think this thing gets any kind of actual move for quite some time. So we're gonna go ahead and scratch. If it does, and I'm wrong, yeah, splash. Um, I figure Romeo can probably take it either way. All right, so down goes the Hopip. So yeah, let me know. Let me know who you'd like to see on the rotating team for now. So I have to send in Hopip. Um, I'm gonna stay in. I did look it up. I think it's level 18 that Romeo is going to evolve. So we've got another another whole level to go before we're gonna see a a, a Crocona, but uh, won't hurt us to get a little bit of experience on these guys. Um, Victor Regina is about to use Bulbasaur. Well, we probably should. Well, let's, uh, let's leave Romeo in. There we go. And then we'll switch into Juliet. Um, probably. Well, I guess I, I, I say that. I say probably we, we're going to need to rely on uh, Romeo and Juliet for the gym. But more than likely, we should probably get Lancelot and Guinevere back out. Guinevere's high defenses uh, should really help us up against. Uh, uh, Whitney's mill tank. Uh, Julia gained some experience. Gina was defeated. Fantastic. Uh, this kid here is going to battle us, which will work out very nice. Also should maybe quickly double back and see if we can get that item. I'm not sure. It looks like it's on the side of the water, so it might be something we have to wait until we can uh, get on the water for. But let's throw up the water gun here. Not great. Not great. But I think... I think the, the downside of the Totodile line is that I think they're higher physical attackers, but there's no such thing as a physical water move, so they don't really have a, don't really have useful stab, necessarily. Um, but use Diglett, but it won't matter so much up against a Diglett. There we go. Throw up a water gun here, take a scratch. Romeo takes that very well. And boom, baby, down goes the Diglett. Hurrah for glass cannons. There we go. Youngster Ian was defeated as well. Yeah, I think we probably have to surf to get that one, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I think this guy only battles us at night. How about you, mate? Why don't we uh, why don't we do that? And then we'll do a little bit of exploration of, um, I think, Goldenrod City? I think it's Goldenrod City, the one we're coming up on now. Level 14 Psyduck. Let's go ahead and leer a little bit, get the defenses lowered, and then we'll just scratch this thing. There we go. Psyduck so used Tower. Ha! Mine landed and yours did not. Go for the scratch. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh no, no, Romeo scratch. All right, um, we'll switch. I don't really want to spend ten minutes trying to whittle it down with a with water gun. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and just peck here. Boom, baby. That'll work. That will work. Romeo grew to level. Oh wait, Romeo grew to level ten. Really? Okay, that must have been a lot of experience there. Romeo's evolving. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Our, well, not our first evolution, because obviously we had uh, Pokemon such as Lancelot, who is fully evolved. Um, but congratulations, your Romeo evolved into a Crocona. That is awesome. All right, well, real quick, while we have opportunity, as much as I'm going to miss our cute little Totodile, competitively, it makes more sense to have a Crocona. So there we go. Romeo is now a Crocona, and he outspeeds the Abra and one-shots it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Very good, very good. Um, all right, so let's pop in here and heal up. And I think I will probably, for the purposes of right now, go ahead and pop. 
uh, since we're through the forest that we don't need cut right now. Let's go ahead and deposit. Actually, no, I want to I change box. I want to go to box two, and we're going to put couples in box two, and we'll have singles in box one. Um, and so that'll that'll allow us to keep things a little more a little more uh, clear. All right, so let's go ahead and deposit uh, Josephine and Napoleon for the time being. Um, and you guys, let me know what you what you'd be interested in seeing in in regards to them. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get Guinevere and Lancelot out, just because I think probably the safest bet is going to be to have Geodude on our team um, for the gym. And they're still decently leveled, so we'll get these two out. Um, I don't know how much use Lancelot will be in the gym, but uh, Guinevere will certainly be useful. And we've got Arwen, Gomez, and Gohan still in the box. We could make a pair out of these guys, but none of these guys excite me a ton. So we'll probably wait, and if we get it to a point where um, we've got... Uh, I don't think we're like required. Like, if... if somebody goes like let's say luna goes down which would be heartbreaking but i don't think we're required to like immediately replace like uh you know so i don't think we're required to immediately replace her with the most well we don't have to replace her out of the pc i think if we were to do an encounter the gender clause states that we would only be able to catch a female in order to fill that slot um so that might be the case, but I don't. I don't think we are. We have to like. Okay, so Fiber's new partner has to be that Pidgey sort of thing. I don't think that's a requirement. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and buy five of these. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Yep. Um. All right, and the rest of that's not really super interesting. What else do we got here? Let's buy. We got Pokeballs and stuff. I think we're probably okay on that stuff for the time being. I think I stocked up after we lost the Onyx. Ooh, which actually, um. Probably not this episode. Well, uh, we'll probably wait till we get back around to that route uh, the proper way. Uh, welcome. How may I help you? Well, maybe. I have to figure out how that all works. No, we're not spending money on X items. Um, so Scad, I know at least was was very disappointed when we were not able to catch the Onyx because it would have been really nice to be able to get a Steelix at some point, which I can agree with. Steelix is awesome. It would be amazing if we could manage to get a Steelix in this run. Um, okay, so this is what I wanted: Electric Punch. Fiery Punch, Icy Punch, um, hold on, go up, attack that may make the foe flinch. Is that fake out? No, because this is May. Um, so we've got the elemental punches here, which I think is definitely going to be something we want. Um, let me see what I, what I have to sell, potentially. Uh, we're going to sell this X Accuracy. Get rid of that. Um attack we'll get rid of two of those beautiful um uh, x defend we'll get rid of gone you go revive we can get rid of fantastic let's do that um repel super potions okay i think the rest of this we probably want to hold on to just for the purposes of our own use uh only 75 bucks for that now we're selling um, we have some other, like, Sweet Scent, this is never going to be a TM that I'm going to use, so we'll sell that. Um, Swift, potentially we will use Fury Cutter. Uh, okay, so there we go. Now, let's let's look and see how much money we've got. So we've got enough to buy one. An electric Punch, Fiery Punch, and an Icy Punch. Um, I'm going to buy this one for now. Um, and we can, and I'll probably end up buying several of these at some point. Um, but actually what I want to do, so you may be thinking I'm buying this for Romeo, but actually my plan is to give this to Luna. Um, I was looking, I was on Serebii, I think I was looking up Romeo's, um, when he, when he was supposed to evolve. And I was looking at kind of the level up movesets to kind of figure out, okay, if I get a Moonstone, when do I want to evolve Luna sort of thing. Um, and I think, especially since she's paired with Fiverr, who absolutely cannot deal with ground types, it might make sense, uh, since she can learn Ice Punch, for us to teach Ice Punch to Luna for the time being. Um, she actually does have higher... Sp I think she... Well, at least she's supposed to have higher special than... Um, so... Get rid of Defense Curl. Ooh, that... I, probably Pound was the better bet there, actually. That was stupid. But that's okay. We're probably not going to use either, really, a ton. Um between pound or the other okay so let's let's take a quick look um stats i think she's supposed to base stats wise at least 
Yeah, so she has slightly higher special attack, so it's not a big difference at this point. That'll obviously probably widen as we go through, but, um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think Luna in Pokemon Yellow was pretty much only a physical attacker, um, but if we do find some good special uh, TMs, uh, that might be a good thing for us to, to put on Luna. And we have access to the other elemental punches as well, so we'll probably, we will probably get Romeo, um, Ice Punch, uh, to help him deal with uh, grass types and things like that if necessary. Obviously, Juliet can help cover that weakness. Um, but that just that just made sense for, for the time being. All right, um, let's go ahead and this floor is disgusting. Let's uh, let's head back down to the first floor. Basement floor one. Oh, hang on there. Oh yeah, I think we'll eventually be coming in here, but I don't think that uh, I don't think today is that day. All right, got it. <clears throat> Let's go up one to the first floor. Fantastic. And let's continue doing a little bit of an exploration of Goldenrod. I think I want to wait. Um, as I as I look here, um, it looks like actually that Whitney's team is... I mean, I guess Romeo and Juliet are up to level. But she's... I think her team is like in the 20s potentially. So um, may want to get another level or two on some of these guys before we go in there. Especially if like... The goal is to maybe have one of your solo it or something. Then we, we probably want to. Oh, this is Bill's house. He just got called to the Pokemon Center in Arctic City. My husband went off to the game corner without being called. <laughs> Are you a trainer? I've got a useful phone number for you. Ah, uh, yes. Short recorder Bill's number. All right. Take Bill's number at least. I don't really want to collect a whole lot of other phone numbers because there's a. I think there's a girl. Okay, so this is the un well. No, let's do it. We'll, we'll go explore the underground now. I think there's a uh, yeah some trainers. Um, what was I? What was I gonna say? Uh, let's talk about the phone. Oh, there's some last I think potentially east or west of Yurikatik City. Um, that would uh, Grimer. Uh, that potentially will call us uh, to give us a uh, a Thunderstone at some point. She has a chance to do that. And that's really the only phone call I want to be getting <laughs> during this run is, hey, here's a Thunderstone, go ahead and evolve uh, Fiber. Uh, that's that's the only interest I'm, I have. So, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll hopefully hold off. Uh, there we go, Grimer goes down. Super Nerd Eric is about to use Grimer. We'll Torch Change Pokemon. Who else are we with? We're with, uh, yeah, Juliet, right. Yes, I, I understand how this works. Uh, yeah, Juliet doesn't have any psychic moves, but she does need the experience more. Let's go ahead and use a Hypnosis. It didn't work. Grammar used pound. There we go. Grammar fell asleep. There's no abilities, so we don't have to worry about poison point or anything. Let's throw up a peck. Okay, Grammar used harden. That's not ideal since you're already pretty decently physically defensive. Let's throw up mud slam, see if super effective does anything. No, that move is such garbage. Okay, <laughs> uh, poison gas, we miss out. Let's just keep throwing up the pecks then. We'll get through this together. Grammar hardening a little bit more. Get very close, though. Either way, the next one should probably do it. Alrighty, there we go. Fantastic. Do you like an experience point? Super Nerd Eric was defeated. Rumble! Alright, my Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Alright. <clears throat> we will do that. Uh, we will want... Um, so my goal here... There's a couple of options for us to get Pokemon in Golden Rock. Ooh, I, I meant to switch these guys out. I really... Uh, I meant to do that. Um... Let's go ahead and Leer. Tons defense value, you can tell use cut. I'm gonna Leer a couple of times here with Romeo, just because he can clearly take the moves here. And then we're gonna switch over to uh, Juliet. Uh, we'll do one more. I think that's as low as defense can probably go. Um, all right, let's bring Juliet out, and she can finish off the Lickitung for us, get a little bit of experience for her trouble. Ooh, go ahead and pack. Good girl. Their pet going. All right, fantastic. Uh, Pokemaniac was defeated. All right, let's go ahead and let's get Luna up front, maybe. Why not? Uh, but yeah, so probably we'll do a little bit of grinding, maybe just like a, a level or two. I'm not super worried about it. Um, oh, there's the coin case. We will need that eventually, probably. But that kind of brings me to my next. So I was started talking about. Uh, we have a couple of options for encounters here in Goldenrod City. Uh, it's not a forfeited route, and there's a few things we can do. I think what we're, my plan is going to be is going to be to wait for the Eevee. Um, because if you can also get some Pokemon from the game corner. I think in Crystal, it's like... Uh, oh. 
I don't know. It's like a, it's a Cubone, I think, and uh, something. I don't know. Nothing that was super exciting. I mean, nothing that would be terrible, uh, but not the most exciting things either. I think probably the Eevee and either being able to get an Espeon or an Umbreon um, would probably work out uh, best for us. All right, Luna. What do we got? Voltorb. Why not? Trust in Luna's bulk here. There we go. Grab this Ice Punch we just got. So why not? Give it a shot. There we go. Critical hit! Queen of Crits? Alright. Uh, Super Nerd, that's an Magnemite. Stay in on that. Fiver, Fiver, unfortunately, doesn't... I think, well, no. He has Quick Attack now? Um, but, um... Nothing that's gonna be real super useful against a bunch of Electric types for the most part. So we'll let, we'll let Luna do it. She can take the, the hits. I have to use Magnemite. We'll stay in. Nobody's getting screeches off on me or anything. Let's see what an Ice Punch on his own does. It's about to clean up. Alright, not as much as the Headbutt was doing, but that's alright. I think Steel might... Well, I guess it would have told me, but... Yeah, it would have said not very effective, like the Headbutt is. Um, so, Steel doesn't resist Ice, at least. Neutral damage. But at least we're getting Stab with Headbutt. Luna Grid level 17. Fantastic. Super Nerd was defeated. Alright, um... So, this guy, I think... Welcome! I run the Pokemon Salon. I'm the older and better of the two haircut brothers. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just $500. We're gonna save the money for now, but if we ever do get a Zubat or an Eevee, we'll definitely be back here to take care of that stuff. Take on this battle here, and then we'll go see if there's anything else we can do in Goldenrod City. A little bit of a, a, a low intensity... I mean, we've got a lot of battles in, I guess, but... Uh, uh, ooh, Slowpoke. That'll be good. Uh, let's, in fact, since we haven't seen Fiverr today, let's bring Fiverr in. Um, not a super exciting episode, I guess, but next episode we will for sure do, for sure do the, uh, the gym battle. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, if we do decide to use, if you guys would like to see me use Josephine and, uh, and Napoleon at some point, um, the only way for me to get a Sunstone, which if I, if I get, uh, Josephine and Napoleon uh, uh, on the team, um, <clears throat> which they'll be on the rotating team anyway, because grass type will be useful on some level. Uh, no, we're gonna stand. Um, anyway, the point is, I, w I need to be able to do the bug catching competition in order to get a sunstone. I need to win the bug catching competition. Now, if I happen to do that on the first try, that's great. Um, but I was wondering if you guys would be opposed to me doing the bug catching competition a couple, couple times potentially. Um, in order to get just a Sunstone, and then I'll release all the Pokemon that are, are received as part of that. Um, I don't think that'll break the Nuzlocke rules, as long as I'm not keeping the Pokemon that I'm catching, but, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to at least get you guys' opinions on it. This is the Name Raider. I'm actually pretty happy with most of our names. Um, oh, I think I started saying at some point that, uh, uh, up on Route 30, I think, I think that one is Route 36, um, we do have the ability, once we get through this town, to uh, to catch a Bellsprout. And since we failed at catching an Onyx, the only really other... Let me see, your Jigglypuff looks happy. It must love you a lot. Yep, Jigglypuff and F or Luna and Fiverr sure do. I keep losing in battles, and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. Yeah, probably. Uh, when I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. Um, what was I saying? So, uh, yeah, we missed out on a, a, a Steelix, potentially. Um, and, uh, as such, the only real way for us to get one at this point is either to catch a Bellsprout on Route, uh, Route 36, which is, I think, our last chance to catch a Bellsprout for a very long time, and then in Violet City there is a trade, um, where we can, we can trade a Bellsprout for an Onyx, um, which would then give us the ability to have an Onyx and potentially a Steelix at some point. Now, my plan would be, since I can't really do any trading with this game, um, my friend Addy, um, who recently did a Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke, um, uh, found a tool, uh, that allowed him to edit how Pokemon evolved. So I, ooh, yeah, we probably should heal. Um, so what I would probably do is, you know, have you guys let me know what kind of range we would like to see. Maybe, you know, like level 35 or something, level 36, like with, you know, final starter, starter evolutions. And at that level, then, um, Onyx would just, you know, spontaneously evolve into Steelix or something like that. I think that's pretty much what he had done for all the kind of trade evolutions and stuff like that, because I think he had several of those kinds of Pokemon on his team. Um, but, uh, let me know what you guys have a feel on that. Um, I probably will attempt to catch a, a Bellsprout to trade for an Onyx. I mean, obviously, it's not a guaranteed thing at this point. We, although I think catching that Pidgey might actually have helped that, if I remember correctly. I'll have to go back and look, um, at what the encounters are, but I, wasn't there supposed to be a flower shop or something? 
somewhere. Is this it? No, this was the uh, happiness checker. Must be above the railroad tracks uh, next to the gym. Yeah, there it is. Um, <clears throat> although I think I have to, I think I have to, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have to wait till Whitney, uh, I beat Whitney to do that. Um, but yeah, so it's not a guaranteed thing that I'll catch a Bell Sprout, but if I do, I will probably trade it for the Steelix, or for the Onyx, and then we will, you guys will have to let me know what you think about the, the, not really cheaty, but just since there's no way to evolve him into a Steelix otherwise, um, let me know what, what you think about potentially, and I, I don't think the Metal Coat is even available until like, the SSN anyway, which is basically the end of the game. So if we can do that a little bit earlier, just for the sake of, you know, variety and fun, I think that's probably the best uh, the best bet. But anyway, guys, you, you guys let me know what you're thinking on that. Um, and uh, I hope to see you guys back here next time. I don't think there's anything really exciting that we can do. Yeah, the Rockets haven't taken over this place yet um, and all that. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we will come back and we will take on the uh, we will take on the gym. Uh, and then continue on north. I uh, gotta figure out exactly um, what comes up after that. Uh, I think potentially the well, I'll, I'll have to see if I if I can fit it into where I can record it on a day where we might be able to do the bug catching competition. We might cram that in uh, next episode as well. We'll just kind of wait and see how it goes. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torm of the Great, and you guys have been great. Let me know what you're thinking on um, on the Steelix evolution if and when we end up getting Rocky the Onyx in a trade from Violet City. If we can manage to get ourselves a Bellsprout. Uh, that'll be a, a nice one to do. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torn of the Green. You guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys. And I will see you all back here next time. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.